and welcome to another edition of Hope Healthy Living. We are so happy to be here now with my co-host. Hi, how are you? I am amazing and so excited to do these amazing science projects. Yes, and you know we have started another school year. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we are doing it remotely. But then, that means what? At home, we have to do a lot of, you know, activities, enrichment activities with kids to make sure that they keep learning, right? Mm -hmm. And this is one of the things that she is going to demonstrate. And I will just be assisting, right? Yeah. Are you ready? She, I am sure, so excited, and I am ready. So let me just tell you what we are doing today. Yes. We will be making drum roll egg bouncy balls with apple cider vinegar. Any vinegar will work. I actually used a white wine vinegar before, and it worked just as well. Great. You know, uh, I didn't grow up doing science experiments, so I'm very happy to be doing this with you. So tell us what you are going to do. We are also going to put a naked egg into corn syrup. And see what is going to happen. Okay, so let's get ready. Uh, do we need safety glasses? If yes. you want that, you can use them, and okay. we will. Good. And you have to speak loud so people can hear you at home. Since we're working with vinegar, and you know vinegar has acid, so you want to make sure that... It even says right here, 5% acidity. Yes. So you want to make sure that this doesn't, uh, you know, splash or get into your eye. And also you we need have some light corn syrup, which is found many places Great. And very cheap. Should we wear some gloves? Sure. Okay. Let's wear some Good. I'm just going to be assisting you, so really you are in charge. And I like to say, you know, this is new for me. So Pearl is really the one teaching me today. So let's get started, okay? Okay. Great. So we're just putting these disposable gloves on. Yes. So this is great if you don't want to mess up with, you know, corn syrup and vinegar. Because it gets your fingers really sticky. Okay. So what do we do? So do you want us to show what we already did or? Yes. Yes. First? You can start. I'm going to get some eggs. Okay. So for the first project kind of like part of this project, you will need some vinegar. We're using apple cider vinegar. Yes. Okay. And you'll need one large egg. Okay. So you just open that. Oh, I can barely open this because I'm <laughs> wearing gloves. Yes. Um, maybe I should pull this. But while she's doing that, I'm going to tell you that we labeled our cups. Yes. So that we know which one we're going to put vinegar in and which one we're going to put corn, corn syrup. syrup. And this is very important when kids are starting to learn about science. Yes. And the kind of greenish yellow is where we're going to put some corn syrup. So great. So this is a great way. And the reason why we have two, um, two vinegar is because we're going to take one without the hard outer shell because the vinegar just kind of dissolves it off and peels it off the egg and then once that happens we're going to put that egg in the corn syrup okay so i'm so going I'm to just pop. Gonna take my corn syrup and put it in here okay so you're using the yellow for the corn syrup yes and i'm going to pour you don't want to fill it up, right? Because you're going to be putting an egg in there, but make sure that you have enough to cover your egg. Whoa, so Good. sticky. Yes, definitely. Corn syrup is made with um, 
you have you do have a lot of sugar in here salt sugar yes. and water yes. exactly and i think it's so it says the corn syrup right which is from corn right but you need they added salt and, and even vanilla, vanilla extract wow so so here's the egg we're gonna put one, one. large egg yes. in our vinegar mm -hmm. and right away you'll see well after a few minutes you will see some bubbles around it and that means it is working and it is starting the process but you'll need to leave it in there for 24 hours yes. maybe a little longer mm -hmm. but and then it should be perfect okay be good and this is the con syrup so i want to make sure that i cover my egg completely so like paul said at least 24 hours right mm -hmm. and then you're going to check it and see what happened mm -hmm. so can you tell us what's gonna happen after 24 hours after 24 hours it will not only get bigger not much bigger but it will get bigger yes it will be like kind of bouncy and softer and what happened what do you think happened the outer um, shell of the egg, you know sometimes when you're cracking an egg, you might like kind of crack it really slowly and you might see some like kind of really whitish yes. little fill yes. in between. That is the part that would remain. will remain yes. in the egg. It's called a membrane. The membrane, yes. yes. But, but the outer harder shell will just dissolve peel yes, off because the acid is going to make it dissolve right the and because the, the shell is made of what calcium, calcium yes. okay so and this is what Here we is have done a whole egg just in corn syrup for 24 hours as you can see, might see it's hard and it's normal yes, yes. it is 24 hours but and it's nothing really happened. I don't know if you can it, see. It's still hard. It's yes. the same size for yes. we can see. Yes. Great. And it's just so nothing happened nothing to the corn syrup. Good. It's the same feel. Good. And what? But this is the egg that was in vinegar. Yeah. And our you can this, scoop it. With yeah. I can Ooh. scoop it. But um, it is a little fragile, so you want to be careful not to like squeeze and it too much. But as you may can, can see, I can I bring it close? No, you're gonna drop Here. it. No, look at the egg. It is way way bigger. bigger. Like comparison, it is huge, yes. which is really cool. And so, what do you think happened when we talk about the it? After the outer shell was dissolved and peeled off, as we said, it sucked up some of the vinegar because I remember there's more vinegar in here than yes. this. Yes, and so that's, that's why really now we have big. this big. It's like Orbeez. They soak up the water. Yes, and so... But number three, test four, four, test yes. four, and is probably the coolest because look at this egg. So it's like what ugh. happened here it is kind that of shrink and shriveled up. Look so at that. You and at the top, it's watery. And you know why? It's because the water came out because of the concentrated sugar in corn syrup. Yes, it kind of pulls the water, right? Mm -hmm. You know, when they're little, we're not talking about osmosis yet, but when you go into higher classes, they're going to explain exactly the process, right? Like what happens when you have something that has a high concentration of, uh, you know, of a substance. It's okay. You can just keep them off. And so what happened is that, remember, this corn syrup has sugar and salt. And this pull out the water from the naked egg. You know the naked egg is permeable, right? So, great. Now, good. So cool. Cool. And so, what It's a fun little experiment for little kids. But remember, when you're done 
Wash your hands thoroughly or wear gloves like us. Yes. Can you, what happens if I drop it? It will break. It will break because the, remember it is, again. The membrane is still more fragile. That's why the egg has the original outer shell. Yes. To protect the membrane. And it has a very nice feel. And you know, this is really great for kids at home. It makes you really, you but know, not feel too young of kids because I bet in like five minutes you're gonna see some rotten egg on your floor because yes, you're so, gonna drop it. So this will be more like a third grade, fourth grade experiment, right? Yep. Oh, great. And then if you're a younger kid, really the parents should be there to supervise, right? Oh, and we even forgot to put the egg in this one. Which one? For this one. No, we already did. Oh. But remember that this is what happened after 24 hours of the egg being inside vinegar. So, there you go. And here, as you can see, this is yeah, the I pump syrup. You. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you can see that the liquid, now it's not as thick as this corn syrup. Why? Because the sugar and the salt pull some water out of the egg, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why now it I'm is I'm gonna go throw the watery. Okay. Now we're gonna show you our egg that we put in the corn syrup after the shell peeled off. Yes. It's really fragile. Yes. Can I try to grab it? Okay. I think we can use a spoon. Is that okay? Good. Well, there. It's really fragile. And it's it's very, about the same size. No, as, not the same size. It has shrunk because you could see. Yeah, it shrunk a bit. Yes. And it's it looks like very loose. Yes, a very loose, and you can tell that it had lost a lot of water. So, and so, let's compare, right? So, let's come closer. There's a huge see? difference. See, if you can see, there's a huge difference. This is the egg coming out of the vinegar, and this is the naked egg put inside corn syrup. As you can see, the corn syrup, the sugar and the salt, pour out some of the liquid from the egg, and See how strong it is. Good. So definitely this is a cool experiment. And let me tell you, I was nine years old like you. I never got to do this. So this is exciting. And I hope that you at home can do it with your kids. And just have fun, right? Mm -hmm. So this is really cool. Thank you. And thank you for teaching me something new. Okay, what do I do? Let me put it back in here. Yeah. Good. And we are going to be doing more science experiments like this one, right? Ooh, Ooh good. I really like the feel. Yes. Just having your hands. Yes. It's really stress relieving. Yes. Oh my goodness, I didn't know that. Let me touch it. I'm somebody who can be stressed for a time, so, oh yeah. So next time I'll remember that, right? Mm -hmm. But definitely, if I do want to wear my gloves when I touch it because you don't want kids to be playing with egg that has been sitting for 24 hours without, you know, yeah. some kind of protection. So definitely this is something to do at home. We hope that I'm you... I'm also curious if you put it in the fridge so it's not rotten in the vinegar, will it still work? Hmm. hmm, that's a good question, right? Hmm. And this is another way of just exploring, you know. And you guys, I told you this earlier that the egg was going to start kind of bubbling yes. after a few minutes. And if you can see, yes, you can bring it's it close. already starting to bubble. Yes. It, it hasn't like started the process, but... um. You can it see. might look like it has because it looks big in this cup, but as you can see, it's bubbling. Yes, great. Good job. And so, thank you for teaching me something new. And 
I would strongly recommend, you know, um, parents at home to let the kids do this. It's a fun project. And again, like I said, I knew a little bit about uh, the egg from your first experiment because she did that. This is the second time that she's doing it. But I didn't know about, you know, putting the naked egg in the consul. This is new. This is my first time to do this. Mm -hmm. And so it is fascinating. It is. So thank you for watching. This was a short video. Um, we hope to see you in our next video. But please, if you like this video, like and subscribe and share so we can make more amazing videos for you guys. We love you. So, so much. much and, and don't later. forget to check our website envisionhope.com for more activities, uh, enrichment activities for kids, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you and see you in our next video. Mwah.